With markets being in so much turmoil, who better to talk to and forecast what's going to happen next uh, than speak with uh, Professor Robert Schiller. He's professor, professor of economics at Yale University, author of The Irrational Exuberance and other uh, numerous books, very, very well regarded and uh, widely heard and heeded too. Uh, professor, thanks very much for your time. It's a pleasure, as always. Uh, so your predictions are finally sort of uh, c coming true about this current episode of the correction that we're seeing in global financial prices. Coming true, that's suggesting the future yet. Uh, I th I was, I've been worried uh, because I think of markets as driven largely by psychology. And we have been through a period since 2009 of enormous growth in the stock markets. People know that and people think that there might be a correction. That's a story that has been told. So I think that there is a vulnerability now. People expect that there might be. And that's what's been playing out recently. It's going up a lot, especially in the U.S., for example, uh, and then now sort of correcting? Or is there something more to it as well? Well, I think of it as all driven by stories of one sort or another. And uh, new stories are developed. One funny story developed uh, just this year was that we saw the biggest drops at the beginning of a year. Uh -huh. Now, okay, what difference does that make? It, it's, it, I think it's just a coincidence. <laughs> but now, it's, it, I, everyone, I keep hearing that, uh -huh. that the year started badly. So the year's going to be bad. I mean, so is that what you're saying? I mean, that's the oh, story? It, it, it's sort of a metaphor for something. Uh -huh. It's like a career starts badly. If you, 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 you launch in a new, you're a young person, and you somehow flub up at the beginning, you think, it's over, you know, I'm never going to make it in this field. Uh -huh. People think that that's... That's this kind of mentality that uh -huh. exaggerates the importance of some coincidence that uh -huh. doesn't mean anything. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But I'm going to ask you uh, to, to sort of answer that question about is this more than just a typical market drawdown, correction in prices? Too much, I mean, markets get very uh, sort of uh, euphoric, irrational. We all know that. So it, is, is it just that getting corrected or is this driven by, some have suggested, central banks finally pulling out, oh, okay. markets readjusting? Right. I mean, no one knows what's the fundamental value of price. I mean, what's going on? Well, the really important difference that we've experienced lately is zero or near, in many countries, near zero interest rates and a slow world economy. So this is called the new normal or secular stagnation. It's come up. It's now on, on people's mind. So I think it's a little bit hard to judge this event. Now, uh, the U.S. Central Bank has just started raising interest rates. Now, everyone knew they were going to do that. It was one of the yes. most expected things. Yes. But I think it's, it still has people a little bit on edge. And it, makes, it does make the markets more vulnerable. This idea that it's, it's, it seems so obvious to people. The market tripled in value, in the U.S. at least, uh, over five years. And now the central banks are, at least the U.S. is tightening. Uh, that uh, that sounds like a recipe for a declining market. And if it sounds like it, it might be a self-fulfilling prophecy and might do just that. You think uh, uh, we're going to continue to head lower? I mean, what, S&P is 1,800? No, I mean, so... I'm not so, so confident that we'll continue to head lower. These, things, these markets are always full of surprises. Uh, uh, but I, th I think that it's... I'm a, I'm a little pessimistic that okay. this... It's, it's, uh, it's not anything of a, a, assured, but there is a chance of a, of a substantial I mean, further growth. P ratios, etc. as well. Uh, P ratios, etc. Valuations, for example. Uh, at, at what point does uh, the market start to reflect the value of underlying businesses once again? Well, well I have my own price earnings ratio yes, called yes, CAPE. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it only explains something like a third of the variation in markets. Okay. So the markets are full of surprises. But when it gets high, as it's been, it was recently up, my ratio, up to 27 last year. And now it's back down to something like 24. Uh, it's still high. But it's not, it's not like a sell signal. It's not clear. It, it, uh, it, we, so this we, is your CAPE ratio, which is uh, cyclically adjusted price earnings multiple, that's from 27 at the high has come down to about 24. Right. Where should it be? Oh, 15. So that suggests I wouldn't be surprised to see big stock market decline. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm not forecasting it. And you say it's 24 now, it should be 15, based on what? 
just historical. historical. I, I have the, uh, on my website, you'll see I've got the chart going back to 1890. Uh -huh. uh, and that's, uh, it's, it's, when it gets high, it, it's, you know, you can say sometime over the next 10 years, good chance it will go down. Uh -huh. that's, it, but it's very frustrating for investors because it might keep going up for years. Uh -huh. The Cape Ratio got up over 45 in the United States uh -huh. in 2000. So it, it could do that. So you're eventually, it should settle down. Uh, well, in the, in the, eventually, uh, the yeah, longer in 10, 20 years. years. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm, I'm saying my attitude toward the stock market is. I mean, so you're suggesting almost a 50 percent decline from here, right? It's possible. Right. Yes, yes. It's, it's quite possible. So I'm saying that the. Uh, I mean, it's never one thing, as you said. It's a. It's it's a lot of other moving parts as well. You think the, all the other factors are in place as well, the the, the bearish factors I'm, I'm talking about. To, to push the market that much lower at this point, growth, recession fears, yeah. interest rates going up. See, it, it's so psychological, yes. and it so depends on the kind of story that's told. Yes. Uh, right now, the story is China, yes. and I think people are just exaggerating that. Okay. Uh, it, 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 uh, it's just not a sensible... Markets are driven primarily by stories and... Yes. Feelings, yes. so I I can't if really you predict. Pessimism, pessimism. I know it's overdone. I think it's, it's over, overdone, so right? It's overdone. So, so the stock so. stock market declines are not reflective of what's happening on the ground in in, in China, right? Because that's where it's coming from. Well, the thing, the thing is that the the stock market in China has been extremely volatile, mm -hmm. and so it naturally seems that they're the source of all of our problems. Yes. They're not. I don't think they're the source of all of our problems. Uh -huh. uh, you think yuan? Uh, you, what's your view the, on the currency, the Chinese currency? Uh, I don't know where the yuan is going. Uh, uh, maybe down. Uh, uh, the Chinese economy needs some support. I don't know, but I don't think that's central to the current issues in the stock markets of the world. Uh -huh. The real current issue is about, in the short run, is about the, uh, the sense of optimism that people feel. And it, became, it can become a negative feedback loop. Yes. These events in the stock market, just, just that's the short run, run event. Yes. The events in the stock market bring attention to problems. Yes. And people become, they hear more stories about problems. The, the short run movements in the stock market don't make any sense yes. historically. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's people re reacting to other people. Yes. And then people becoming focused on negative stories that bother them and worry them. Okay. Just, just a quick question on, the, on, on interest rates in the U.S. going up. Do you think they'll continue to go up as... Uh, as predicted. As, 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 as has been predicted, or we'll get Q, QE4? We might get QE4, yeah, if, if there's signs, more signs of... I don't think we're there yet. Uh -huh. uh, the, the Federal Reserve in the United States has been a stabilizing force. They're not an exogenous force. They're not the cause of our problems. Uh -huh. The exogenous forces are really non-economic. There's something about the, the psyche, and not just of the, any one country. Mm -hmm. The world is so much more connected. We're all looking at these screens yes. and seeing yes. things from all over the world. Uh, and we have to understand that views and attitudes really do spread. They spread like viruses. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks very much. Thank you.